rice cookers. In today's episode, we're going from this to that. Here we have a K24 valve cover. We are going to be painting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use paint stripper on it yet, um, but the first thing we're gonna do is just remove any of these plastics. So, uh, oil cap and rocket cover gasket. This one actually feels like it's been replaced quite recently, so I'm gonna reuse it. It's still quite soft. You know, the other rocker covers I've got, the rubber's almost turned to concrete. Let's hit it with some degreaser and a uh, bit of a cleanup. I've got the, uh, got the valve cover outside set out to be water blasted. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with some degreaser and then We've got Wrinkle Plus VHT Black. Not sure yet if I'm gonna need a paint stripper, but I've got it. The problem with the paint stripper is you need to take the spark plug hole grommet things out because rubber plastic doesn't really mix with paint stripper. So, see how it comes up with a degreaser and a bit of a scrub and uh, make a decision on whether we're gonna go full strip down or kind of half rough it up with scotch bright and then go straight to VHT. So let's jump to uh, cleaning this. Change of plan. The uh, condition of this is quite shit. So I'm gonna strip the paint off it. But in order to do that, I need to make sure the uh, spark tube grommets don't get paint stripper on them. So I'm just gonna dry this area with a heat gun and then we'll um, mask it off and uh, strip it. Something like that. And uh, repeat for the rest. Okay, we got the uh, spark plug tube covers kind of sealed. Um, let's take this back outside and hit it with some stripper and see how this goes. All right, it's been about 40 minutes. Let's see uh, how good this is. Well, I'd say that shit's a waste of fucking money. It's not doing shit. That paint stripper didn't work very well. I need that really, really strong stuff. You know, the kind that like, if it touches your skin, you instantly get like ass cancer. I think it's called like airplane stripper or something. I don't know, I'm not, I mean, <laughs> I guess I could sand this a little bit and then coat it again and then, nah. Uh, I'm just gonna um, take some scotch bright to this and level down all this loose stuff and then uh, we'll have a look at what we're left with. Hopefully it's something we can just, just hit with some paint. Got it roughed up, all the high spots knocked down, all the loose bits of flaky paint. Uh, let's take it back outside and go to over another uh, brake clean and rinse down. And then we'll be able to come in and get ready for paint. Okay, I've just brought it back inside from degreasing and covered it in some brake cleaner. Uh, wiped it down and dried it off with the heat gun. And we got a lint-free towel and some isopropyl. This area here is obviously covered by a cover, whether it's aftermarket or OEM, so not super concerned within there. That's how the uh, inside turned out after uh, giving a bit of a degrease. Now we need to mask whatever's not getting painted.
Well, that worked pretty good. This is one of the the blades left over from uh, when I did the wrap. Very sharp. Right, got all of these little areas taped up where I don't think there should be paint. And now I'm just gonna run some 10 mils into these. Stop the threads from getting paint on them. 10 mils are all in. Last thing to get on here is this. Ready to be painted. We're gonna go in uh, three patterns. So we'll go across and up, and then across this way, and then diagonally. We'll, we'll go over it about three times with a five minute wait time in between each pass. And then hopefully uh, we'll have a good result. Also gonna use a heat gun to um, help promote the wrinkle effect. It'll be this. Make sure you shake it like hell. This, this is probably pretty, imp Pretty important because whatever's in that will probably f you up. And then gloves. That's three, uh, three coats, three different directions done. Now I'm going to go over it with the heat gun and uh, see if we can get this thing to crinkle up. So uh, sit back and enjoy the uh, time lapse and the cheese. Bah. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Well, there we have it. It's um, it's come up pretty good. I mean, you know, for a first attempt, I think it could be better. Um, I think I could have used a lot more paint. It's got a nice wrinkle effect, but yeah, I think uh, could have done with maybe double the amount that I put on it. Some areas are better than others, but yeah, I think it's gonna be all right. Well, let's have a look at it on the engine, I guess. And there it is. It's looking a hell of a lot better than that filthy silver dirty cover that was on there before. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to let this cure. We're uh, in winter here in New Zealand and it took long enough to get it to this point. So you'll have to come back or check my Instagram for an update on removing the Paint off the Honda logo. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Well, thanks for watching. If you're here just for the paint job, you probably don't know what the hell it's for. It's a case swap or wheel drive CRV. So if you, uh, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, check out my older videos and make sure you are uh, subscribed for further updates. This episode was a little bit of a filler episode because I'm waiting on a few parts that are uh, somewhere in the middle of the ocean somewhere. So hopefully we'll be uh, back up to speed with some more proper updates here shortly. We'll see you on the next one.